Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to renumber your chart of accounts using Excel. If you remember in one of our other tutorials I mentioned that QuickBooks set up the chart of accounts using five digit numbers but I only want four digit numbers. I just find that so much easier to work with. So what I want to do is I want to change all of these at the same time to four digit numbers. We can do it in QuickBooks by editing each account at a time and changing this to four digits. But I think that's going to take a little bit longer. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Excel. The first thing you need to do is you need to export the chart of accounts. So we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Utilities, and we're going to go to Export, List to If Files. We're going to check chart of accounts to export this list. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to save it on the desktop. And then I have to change the name here. I'm going to delete this star. I'm just going to put chart of accounts dot IIF. And I'm going to hit save. It says your data has been exported successfully. After you've exported your chart of accounts, you want to open Excel. Then you want to go to File and open that file. You hit Open, and here it is on the desktop. Open. And then it brings the Text Import Wizard. What we want to do is do Delimit Tip. Then we're going to hit Next. Oh, go back. You want to do My Data Has Headers. And then Next. And then Tab. And hit Next. And Finish. And here is the chart of accounts in Excel. And here are the count numbers right here. So you can see there's uh, the four digit numbers, the ones I did. Now I just want to concentrate on this column. So I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to go to uh, Data, Text to Column. And I'm going to now do Fix With. Then click Next. And I'm going to cut the last digit. So I'm going to go right there. So it's going to cut um, a little bit of the accounts account right here, but I'm just going to, I can add it back. So I just want to, I want the last digit to just disappear. So I'm going to hit next and finish. And we're going to hit OK. And as you can see, it created or it split this into two columns. So now what we could do is add the, back the TNT and the UM in this column. And we can actually delete this column because we don't need it anymore. And all of my accounts are four digits now. Now all we have to do is just save the file. And it's going to ask us if we want to save it in tab. So we're going to say yes. And then when we close it, it says want to save your changes to chart of accounts if we want to hit no. Don't save. Because if we hit yes, it's going to ask us to save in a different format. We want to keep the if format. Otherwise it's not going to work. So hit don't save. Okay, and now we can go to our QuickBooks. We can go to File, Utilities, Import, Import If Files, and look for that um, file, which is right here. And it says your data has been successfully imported. And as you can see, all of our accounts now are four digits. Very good. And you can use the same technique if you want to um, change all the sequence of your of your account numbers. I just think it's so much um, faster to do it in Excel and do it this way. And that's how you uh, renumber your chart of accounts. Thank you for joining us at this QuickBooks tutorial and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.